thanks to Netflix show Cheer. But we have some fierce competition right here in the capital city. Our very own cheerleader, Bailey Baker, is live from Sac State with more. Bailey, I need you. I'm, I'm excited. Impress us. You know I was a former Sac excited? State cheerleader. I, I already... I already told all the girls that you cheered here, so uh -huh. don't worry. I got you like who? Um, I was <laughs> so a cheerleader, but not like this, because the qualifications you need to be a college competitive cheerleader are amazing. These are true mm -hmm. athletes, and it's really being brought to light because of the Netflix show Cheer, which follows the junior college team to a competition. And if you're watching the show, you can see all the tumbling they do, the extreme scents. And it's really um, something that's drawing attention of everybody. The cheer team for the Netflix show has been on tour talking to all top shows. They have gone to Oscars. They've been on the Ellen Show. And so we really wanted to talk to the girls at our hometown because college competitive cheerleading isn't just in Texas. It's also right here in Sacramento. I am joined with the assistant coach and one of the cheerleaders, Alex. She's going to talk about some of the skills that you actually need to be a college competitive cheerleader. What did you need to do to be a part of the Sac State Cheer? To make Sac State Cheer, I had to have some standing tumbling, which is usually a standing tum back handspring or a standing tuck, and then some knowledge with stunting. Like um, our friends over here did a straight up quick toss, and this is one of the stunts that we do all the time at games, during rallies, all of that fun stuff, events. So that's pretty standard for making Sac State's cheer team. And yeah. then you guys just got back from a really big competition. In the show, they go to Florida, but you guys also go to Florida, but just in a different competition. Is that correct? And, and let's talk about that. How'd it go? Yeah, so that went really well. We placed third out of 25 teams. The competition takes place in Orlando, Florida, part of the Universal Cheerleaders Association. So that was really fun. I think it was good. We took our whole program. So that's a little bit different than most of the years that we've had. And you guys are gearing this up for the entire season. You have football um, to get through, basketball, but this is the biggest competition of the year, and you guys train for it all throughout the year. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. We do start double days, so they go in the morning and at nighttime leading up to nationals. And then we leave on a Wednesday, and we came back on a Sunday this year. So that was, you know, five days in Florida. It's pretty great for them. And what's the commitment to you as a cheerleader? What, how did you prepare for this? Coming into college, I knew I wanted to cheer, so it's always been one of my top priorities. So figuring out how to balance school and cheer was kind of difficult at first because we do practice several days a week for a few hours at a time. So really finding the balance between those two things was something that we all have to make a priority so that we stay on top of our schoolwork while also being successful as athletes. Okay, and I'm sticking around. She's actually taught me something, so I'll show that to you next. And then we're going to see them perform one of the fight songs. So stick around. We're heading into the 9 o'clock hour with Sac State Cheerleading. Good, Bill. Back Thank you. you. <laughs> the food